And you will also, uh, on lunch, you will find crew members sleeping in these beds, because wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Only Chicago Med has more beds than us. <laughs> Any questions? How comfortable are the beds? Uh, not great, but you know what? Better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost a few hours on these beds. They don't look that comfortable, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to fall asleep in this room, <laughs> as many of our crew does on their lunch hour. There's also a half bed that the props department made for scenes in Casey's office where they needed to, they needed more room, and the bed was in the way, but they needed to get a little bite of the bed on the camera. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll call, they'll say it, the shot is dirty. Like if I'm, we're getting a shot of Joe and it's clean, there's nothing in between the camera and Joe, or a shot that's dirty might have my shoulder in it. Mm -hmm. So they needed a shot that had a little bite of the bed in the frame and there wasn't room. So they just made a half bed, shoved it against the wall, and you just see the, the footboard of the bed. Omen is from Rachel Omen, who was one of our wardrobe people. Uh, whenever you see a name you don't recognize, it's probably the last name of one of our crew. Um, here is the conspicuously over-decorated over locker of a new cast member. Mm -hmm. She really got, to, got busy right away with the stickers. So there's one locker that we can shoot through to do that inside of the locker POV, and we can move that locker anywhere. And um, so that's where you'll see that occasionally, something where you see the door open, you see the guy's face, and they're shooting from the back of the locker. Um, other, than that, other than that, you you know what this room is. You've seen the scenes in here. Any yeah. questions? None of us ever actually have a permanent locker. They no, all move around based upon what scene is necessary and where we convenient. need to be and what, uh, just to kind of make the shot work. Um, like for you, example, here's Malik's locker. This is where it's been the last couple episodes. And he's very big on oral hygiene. <laughs> and he favors uh, a shower gel that smells, it's a little flowery for Mouch. I'm kind of surprised. And of course, every firefighter's friend, the generic version of Gold Box. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Questions? I didn't I, think so. I won't show you Cruz's locker because it's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. They, yeah. they decided at some point that Cruz was a slob. Yeah, uh, which is not at all like real life. At all. Because these uh, little cubicles are reserved for sexy people. Only the <laughs> finest of the fine here on Chicago Fire. Uh, so you will see a Jesse or a Taylor, or perhaps a Miranda or a Kara. Oh, here's the half bed, everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, there's <laughs> the half bed you saw. The legendary half bed. Um, where you will see Mouch uh, sure. or Cruz sure. is on the other side of the bathroom where the urinals are. <laughs> um, because if there's one thing that we've learned about Big Cruz, is he is a public urinator. Yes, we have. Now you'll notice. Oh, jeez. Uh, on all of the toilets and urinals that there are these signs that say that these actually don't function. Did, could you imagine that a sign like that has any reason to exist in the first place? Could you imagine why a sign like that would who be did it? Uh, I'm not going to say who did it, um, <laughs> because it wasn't me. Uh, uh, but it uh, definitely was possibly mis- uh, misconstrued for something that was a working urinal. I thought you were going to say Miss and then someone's last name. <laughs> <laughs> it then, was definitely. I really want to know how uh, she planned on Miss using it. Miss <laughs> Mayo. It was. Uh, uh, um, if it was anyone, it would have been her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. uh, again, none of these are functioning. All of this stuff gets pumped in by our, our props department sets of day, and they do phenomenal work as always. One of my favorite scenes from last season uh, was a great moment between Mouch and David. Uh, right at this mirror. The very end of the season. Yeah, uh, and it was just a real, I think, two brothers kind of going through a moment together, uh, and I think it's what our show is really all about, and it was great to see. And I'm a fan of those actors, so oh, I like watching oh, them. And I filmed a couple of uh, my favorite scenes in there, mm -hmm. including one where uh, Joe's character was contending with uh, having let a gang, a gang member die deliberately because the guy was endangering his brother. Uh, Flacco's death kind of hung over Cruz for an entire season. And finally, we had a scene in there where we were separated by bunker coats. It was quite deliberately, deliberately set up to look like a confessional. 
and he confesses in that scene. And then we had a scene that sort of echoed that. And that was actually done on the real fire. That was done at the real fire. In, the, in their right. turnout room, which is half the size of yeah. this thing. So like when we were filming it, uh, Reza, who might be around, or you may meet a little bit later, who's our producing director and was our camera A operator at the time, was about this close to our faces yeah. when we were filming because it was such a tight space. Uh, but that was an incredibly fun scene to do. It is also famously known as where Severide takes all of his... Used uh, to. Oh, used to. Yeah, he's, a, he's a committed man now. He was more of a playboy in yeah, the beginning. Yeah. And he would be yeah, slipping out of there with some young lady or other. But that would be the turn. Um, the if you ever worry you about us, out. If you ever worry about us showing up at Molly's and worry about, you know, these guys, maybe they drank too much, uh, and you're worried, well, how far away is yeah, Molly's? Yeah, they're, they're never going to be able to get there. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get there. Walk this way. Well, you see how close And you'll see how close Molly's is to the firehouse. Now, some of you may say, but I thought Molly's was a real bar. In actuality, uh, Molly's is a bar. It's called Lottie's. Uh, it is in a neighborhood called Bucktown in Chicago. Uh, but at one point, the idea was that all three shows were always going to end in Molly's. And that kind of became a logistical nightmare as we only have the one Molly's and there are three shows that are trying to produce on it. So getting that schedule worked out is pretty difficult. But feel free to head on in. Hey, who do we got here? <laughs> hey, Joe, these are your friends? Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, come on in. Come on in, folks. We're giving away freer, nasty, moldy old beer. Who wants one? We're going to only be taking motion picture dollars today, so if you, uh, if you have motion picture money, you can buy a beer. Otherwise, uh, we can't serve you. Welcome to the Molly's. Huh? Somebody said it smells like beer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we, don't, we officially don't know what you're talking about. Copy of the original Lotties, uh, also again made wider so that the cameras have more room to work. The bar is completely breaks apart so that you can move it as necessary. This is a actual replica of the back bar that sits at Molly's. This is, I think, is incredible. They're very happy about This is not corrugated glass, but it's little glass sticks. <laughs> I, I'm uh, surprised that you did it. I enjoy that. breaking things. Sorry, Peter. For so, you like, you like us, if you watch the show, you suffered through some interminable speeches by Herman. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going at? Oh, everybody, God. everybody, listen, we're one big family here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts to die. <laughs> Speeches, he might, be, he might be gone. Any questions? Can have my way. Right, what's that liquid made out of? This is made out of grape juice, but uh, grape juice is expensive, so when we're really shooting, we don't use grape juice. We use watered down soda pop. Or tea. Okay. Yeah. Not beer. No, no. no. Not even a non alcoholic kind. Not even. In fact, in the beer bottles, it's usually just water. Yeah. And I assume, I'm just, I tell myself, they scrub and disinfect those bottles before they <laughs> Any questions, anyone? Uh, I have a question. Yes. yes. Um, we were noticing how it's so fragrant and it smells like beer in here. So yeah, is, just, that, is huh? that just why, why does it smell so much like a real bar in here? Who are you, my mother? This <laughs> 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 bedroom smells like a brewery. I mean, it's a, you know, it's, it's a. Like Lagunitas is right across the lot. That's probably what you're. Yeah. yeah it, you were in there all day just now, right? In Lagunitas, that, that was yeah. probably left That's over. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? You didn't pour it on the floor? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I, don't I mean, yes, I don't we know. have poured beer on the floor when we've celebrated in Molly's. There's mm -hmm. definitely been a lot of sprayed beer and stuff. Uh, I think there has been the occasional near beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I wasn't beer drinking beer or anything like like before you guys got here. It probably smells like beer. Uh, I think a lot of these are actually bottles that we're never allowed to touch in there that might be locked up and real beer yeah. and warm and sitting in there. No, those are actually all of them are water. Oh, there you go. See, and, there you uh, go. and take note of the ceiling lights and realize that you can do this at home and take any space that's basically a jump and make it really special. <laughs> Magical. At the real Lotties, this is a stairway that goes down into the basement where, um, but for us, it's where Jen 
hill climb, uh, one of our special effects crew sits back there with a little smoke machine and wafts smoke into the room, even though no one smokes in bars in Chicago. What it does, the, the, the haze that it creates with the light is something that we're fond of. And we kind of got away from it from the walk for a while. And now the smoke is back. See if you notice. I don't know if you will. <laughs> Uh, that door right there, that silver door, leads led to nowhere uh, until we decided we wanted to stab Herman in the Yeah, we kitchen. needed a fresh place to uh, stab Herman. Yeah, Kid, kid and Samurai got busy in there. Oh, God, God again with Kid and Samurai. They got going. I like that scene. Where else? Who else? My imagination, I had my wife here, who's Cindy. Okay, so, uh, is anyone interested in a photo? Uh, 